Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I was mentioning earlier in another video I made uh, uh, the other day when I was doing uh, the, uh, the weather uh, video about Proverbs 3. Actually, it's Proverbs 3. 27 and 28 Proverbs 3 3 27 and 28 do not withhold good from those who it is due when it is in your power when it is in, in the power of your hand to do so. Do not say to your neighbor, Go and come back, and tomorrow I will give it, when you have it with you. Basically, that's the same thing that, uh, I think it says here in, um, Is in the New Testament as well. Uh, I gotta remember where it's at now. Talks about um, and I'm looking here. Where is and why I'm, I'm I'm bringing this up again? Is because the uh, neighbor lady across the way from me. Her name is her. Her name is Angel, and her husband's name is Mike. And that's all I'm. That's all I'm giving you. Angel has a friend. Living uh, a, a young a younger couple living with them. Angel's around 53 years old, and Mike, her husband, is 40 years old. And uh, I guess from talk, well, I not guess, but from from my conversations with them. They've been homeless more than they had a place to rent. And this is their first place that they have ever really owned. And, uh, there's some other things too. They have a daughter that's around 12 years old that's not living with them. Supposedly... The daughter was kidnapped by somebody. But I honestly believe that there's something else going on there because somebody if somebody kidnapped somebody's daughter, the authorities would excuse you know, be right there on it trying to get their daughter back. But I think there's something else going on that they're not really saying. And like I said, they've been using me as a free taxi service because they don't want to pay $22 to go to the grocery store because uh, usually Angel has that girl to go with her as well or or or, or uh, girl's boyfriend, John is his name. This is Angel calling. Hello. Hello. I need a huge favor, Bob. I gotta go get my dog from the dog warden to today. Uh, it just happened. Why? What happened? She took off, and I guess somebody picked her up, probably, and took her to the dog warden. Okay, I, I got another phone call, but I'll call you back. Okay, all right. Bye. Bye.
it says police officer on here. Hello? Hello? This is Andrew. How are you today? Um, okay. That's good. Don't want to talk to me anymore? Goodbye. I said, I think, actually, I think it was somebody wanting me to donate money to him. Yep, it says, Police Officer P.A. That's what it says right there. Police Officer P.A. Anyhow, spam, spam call, wanting money. She has two dogs over there. I guess one of her dogs took off. And not sure how, because they, they usually let them out on a chain. Psst. I heard somebody hollering for a dog. I didn't know who it was. I don't know. They're, they're um, yesterday, I, I demanded some money for gas. They said, you know, they had a joint, well, Mike said he had some money, and he brought over some money. Brought me over ten dollars. But while he was here, he you could feel, you could tell the frustration in his voice. He was pretty upset because his wife Angel is buying way too much paparazzi jewelry that that other girl is selling and now they don't have enough money to pay the rent no I'm not giving them money to help pay their rent I'm sorry my money and Renee's money is for our bills not to be given to str complete these are these are complete strangers that's uh, befriending us, but actually they're using us. Now, there is a term in the psychology world called enabling. And enabling basically means when you um, do something for somebody that can actually do something for themselves. Uh... You know, repeatedly, basically, repeatedly doing something for somebody that can do something for themselves. It, it, it gives them the sense, well, wh why do I have to do it if somebody else is going to do it for me? Here's what I was wanting to, uh, in James, James 2, James 2, James 2, 24, well, no, let's go up here to tw uh, 17. Thus, also, faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Then 24 says, you see, then that a man is justified by works and not by faith. So Proverbs Proverbs three twenty seven and twenty eight and James two goes hand in hand. I I am doing this in faith, basically. Faith that they will pay me uh something, like they say they're gonna pay me. Eventually, after all this time, they did give me $10. But, like I said, there is something not right. She is supposed to be Mike's representative payee. But, she's not managing their money right. I, ha I have a budget that I go by every month. I pay our bills first. And then what is left over is what we live on to buy other stuff with. 
Now, I know some of you people have been saying, well, uh, he got a new weather station with his welfare, welfare money and all this. And all. Let me tell you something. That was Renee Stimless money. And well, I, she got me that for Christmas, a Christmas present. And it wasn't $140. It was a lot cheaper than that. It was around $114. <clears throat> Excuse me. My um, sinuses is... It was a uh, uh, hundred and uh, let me see where it's on here on the receipt. On the receipt. Uh, actually, it doesn't have the price on the receipt. It just has the shipping information. Bill to ship to. Because I I bought it from a third party. Seller on Walmart.com, not Amazon. Walmart. Right here is the uh, company's name that uh, sold it on Am on Walmart on Walmart.com, and it was actually around $114. And actually, with shipping and handling, it was a little bit more, but, um... It was a lot cheaper than $140. Like, it's priced on the internet. That's because you don't go to the right place to look for it. Then, uh... I was going to say was last night Mike was you could tell the, the frustration in his voice and I'm talking to him and, and uh, he said uh, it's my wife it's my wife it's my wife she spent way too much money on that jewelry and now we don't have enough money to pay our rent first he was trying to say that these Fan, this family photo, professional photo, that they had taken recent uh, back in December. That some guy was at a local grocery store getting people to get professional photos done. That came out of his his, uh, his money, and that put them in a hole. And then then he came out and actually said it was his wife. Spend way too much money on that paparazzi jewelry. Now, people like that. I've had it up over my head. And Renee has too. Renee is so frustrated that she doesn't even want to talk to me. She's mad at me. She doesn't want to take her medication. I mean, it's not going to help Re Renee any being so upset because that woman over there cannot manage her money. And I've called around, I've called around, I, I've talked to the pastor at the church that heads up the uh, Salvation Army and the uh, loaves, of fi loaves and Fishes food pantry here in town that she's talked to and tried to get him as well to take her to a food pantry a few times and he more or less said sometimes you just gotta let people crash and burn like that and, you know you can only help them so much and then that's it if she wants to mismanage her and her husband's money then there's really nothing I can do about it. I called the authorities. I called uh, uh, Adult Protective Services. Basically, nobody can do anything because they're not elderly and they're not children. Even though she has a daughter, the daughter's not living in the home. There's nothing they can do about that either. 
There's some strange things about these people. And I'm doing the best that I can. And today, you know, you heard she I, she wants me to take her to the grocery store. But I gotta go get her dog, too, from the dog pound. She usually has him on a leash. Because she has two dogs of the same breed. I don't know, some people. Anyhow, this is what's going on in, in Miners Mobile Home Park, Carrollton, Ohio, where I live at, that some of you people think is a, tr you know, a trashy place where it's not a trashy place. It's just because some of you people think where well, you're stinking thinking instead of your heart. I get out here and go and rescue a dog and talk to her and I'm going to have, have her apologize to Renee for and, and oh she needs to apologize to a lot of people God bless you have a blessed day